Hey Ghosts! Following the announcement of the second year of content for Ghost Recon Wildlands, and the release of Special Operation 1 focusing on the theme of Splinter Cell, it is now time to reveal more information about Special Operation 2. Special Operation 2 will release on July 24th, and will include a new theme and PvE experience, a new Ghost War update, as well as a very special feature requested by the community, Ghost Mode. Ghost Mode is a new PvE mode designed for the best ghosts out there. In this mode, you'll be able to create a new character to take down the Santa Blanca Cartel under thrilling conditions. First of all, you will only be able to carry one primary weapon at a time. Also, you will only be able to switch weapons at ammo boxes or by looting them off enemies. Remaining ammunition and magazines will be lost when reloading. And full friendly fire is enabled with your teammates. But most importantly, this mode features permanent death. If a down player is not revived in ghost mode, the character and its progression are lost. Like in the main game, Ghost Mode will allow players to select a difficulty setting or Tier 1 mode, so that everyone can experience the intensity of this new mode at their own pace. Ghost Mode will feature exclusive new rewards to unlock, and will truly put your skills to the test. Especially in Solo, as you will now be able to deactivate your AI teammates in both Ghost Mode and the main campaign of the game. In Ghost War, we'll be releasing a new set of maps, including a snow map that was much requested by the community. Along with these new maps, we are releasing a new victory screen, in which the winning team will now be able to display its customization and unique victory poses. Players will also be able to use the brand new Observer Mode to both watch and showcase Ghost War custom games more efficiently. Finally, new daily challenges will be available in Ghost War that allow players to earn for speed credits. Which leads to another improvement of Special Operation 2 the entire economy of prestige credits has been improved. You will now be able to earn prestige credits via the main campaign, Ghost Mode, and Ghost War. And thanks to an update of the in-game store, you will not only be able to use these prestige credits for Ghost War classes, but also for prestige crates, which include items from the store and new armory packs. Finally, more than 100 new exclusive items have been added to our battle crates, including new emotes, voice lines, weapons, vehicles, and more customization items. We have also updated our Year 2 Pass, so that Year 2 Pass owners will get 7 days of early access to Ghost Mode, starting on July 24th, on top of the rest of the existing content. All of this is only a portion of the content of Special Operation 2. This update will also include an exclusive new theme, new PvE missions, as well as two new PvP classes. Stay tuned in the next days for more information. We cannot wait to show you more about Special Operation 2. In the meantime, we'll see you on the battlefield, ghosts.